Okay, so I found this video on Tariq Nasheed's uh, Instagram account. Now, this is a very interesting video that you see right here. <laughs> and it's funny because Tariq said the guy sounded like uh, like Will Ferrell. And he kind of did sound like Will Ferrell. And it did look like something out of a Will Ferrell-based movie. But that's besides the point. So, this guy is in the airport clearly. And a cl apparently, he's being clearly detained by three cops but um and the thing that sticks out the most is the fact that he says you i'm not a fucking black guy or you're detaining me like i'm a black person as the title suggests in this video they know a lot of them like to pretend that they don't know what's going on in this climate with black people and how we are being dealt with when it comes to law enforcement. They like to bury their head in the sand and pretend they don't know what's going on. They tell us that we need to comply, just listen, and nothing will happen to us. This guy clearly did not do that, and that's why he's being detained. But he says, I'm being treated like a black guy. So they know. Another example would be the video that I posted up on my Black Junction account a couple months ago where you had that young that um, white girl at the beach I think it was in Philly and she has said something to the effect that um, something like what he said I'm, I forgot what her words exactly were but it was alluded into the same um, effect don't let these individuals run that game on you and say they don't know what's going on that's their way of deflecting everything it's something it's one of their biggest traits they know exactly how we are treated. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said this. He wouldn't have made that statement. But I just thought it was like real interesting. And to be honest, he isn't being treated like a black person because if he was, he would have been shot before they even got the cuffs on him. He would have been, uh, he would have been tased. He would have probably had a few hits to the face and all of that. They actually handled him way better than they would ever handle us. Now, I don't know what the man did or what he had in his bag or what have you to make them detain him. But like I said, this is not my problem. Now they get a little taste of what we go through, but not the entire meal. Because we already know what would have happened uh, had this been a black person. But the fact that he says you're treating me like a black person triggers in his mind that he should be able to get away with whatever he was doing, even though he was clearly in the wrong. It's that white privilege that's exuded from his body, from his mouth when he said that. I'm white and I say so. I'm white and I can do what I want. I'm white. You have no right to put your hands on me. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. Period. The end is what was going through his head. And notice he started crying and everything like that. Save them tears. They ain't. They ain't gonna phase nobody. Damn sure ain't phasing me. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be down below. I'll talk to you in the next one.